if you miss the guy uh, frying a turkey for the very first time and freaking out because his young daughter wouldn't go back in the house. Uh, that's up there, too. <coughs> All right. First time frying a turkey. Stay inside, please. Stay, Stay inside. inside. Stay inside. Right. Get inside right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stay inside. Get inside right now. It's also been uh, it's also been made clear to me by the Visco Girl contingent of our listening uh, audience that earlier in the show when I was referring to CLE Clothing Company having that buffalo plaid black and orange flannel, uh, those girls getting very upset that I didn't call it Buffalo Check, which is the actual name of that. Get it together, dude. Pattern. Seriously. I guess so. For you know all what I mean? Check shirts you buy. You should know that. I'm no sartorial dummy. Uh, so, ladies, uh, listen. Uh, you might be a small contingent. What's a visco girl? But sure, you look What's it up. a sartorial? But dummy? you are mighty in your opinions and making sure that I hear them. And so, thank you. The Buffalo checked flannel at CLE Clothing Company sold out very quickly. I'm sure they will restock them. So you're no sartorial dummy. Are you a santorial dummy? Uh, What's your knowledge of this Mary Santorum? Uh, I, I've never seen a picture of your vagina or anything, so I'm going to say. <laughs> but you have seen the real thing, so that makes what? up for it. I'm kidding. Pardon? <laughs> what did I say? Uh huh. That's actually what's on that blanket. We've been uh, superimposing oh. the image of Bill. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm a santorial dummy, too. I, I think. think most people are. Yeah. Well, whose fault is that? Theirs or yours? Yours. Mine. Yours. Okay. You're saying that you've given me all the information I would need. To be an expert on Mare. Well, and it doesn't even sound... One way you can be an expert on Mare is if you go to agoracleveland.com and get tickets with no fee for Cyber <laughs> Monday to uh, Bill Squire's Chris McQuanzica. No. Yeah. Or you just just go to my Instagram. That I mean, would be a way. It doesn't even sound like Mary Santora is an expert on Mary I'm Santora. I'm a Santorial dummy. I'll tell you that. I surprise myself mm, every day dummy, yeah. with the things I don't know about Isn't that me. good, though? Yeah. Yeah. I learn new things about myself all the time. Or just in general. Just and learning in general. things. Yeah. It's good. I just learned something the other day. What's that? I don't remember. I was like sitting in an, uh, what did I, it doesn't matter. Keep Anyone away. can so, take a reservation. <laughs> You've got to hold yeah. the reservation. So you learn something, but like you I forgot about it. it. So you don't really, you didn't really learn it then. No, it was one of those things that I heard and I was like, oh, I never knew that before. Mm-hmm. It Wait, is that a thing? It's just a thing that you learned. It wasn't about yourself. No. Okay. In general. Well, that's okay. So you didn't commit it to memory. Mm-mm. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Because if you don't know and then pass it on, we can't know it. Mm-mm. Yeah. You guys probably already know. It. You know most of the things I know. All right. I did answer most of the questions when we went to, what's it called? Trivia. 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 Yeah. I knew Saturn. He couldn't even remember the word trivia. No, no, you didn't know Saturn. <laughs> you got it wrong. I thought there were three M planets. We had to name a planet that had something going on. The seventh planet or sixth planet or something I like that. I think it was the sixth. Yeah. And, and I, Saturn is the sixth planet? Well, yeah. she wrote it out. My like, very excellent mother just made, just served just nine served. pizzas. Yes. Oh. Is the ac- Except Pluto isn't acronym? a planet anymore. Not acronym. anymore. But yeah. that's when I learned it. And I thought it was just made nine pizzas. And I was like, what's the third M? Which planet is the and third M? And I'm like, M? where's Saturn? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, oh, that's what it is. Mm. So, there but. you go. All right, well, there you well, go. I was paying attention. No, I wasn't in school. <laughs> I, yeah. I didn't remember that stuff. That one, and then um, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk is how you do the um, uh, decimals, not decimals, um, kilo, hecto, the measurements? deca, yeah. Ooh, what, what is that called? Grams that or whatever? Uh, I, I don't know. Well, and then you move the decimals, Wait. and that's how you do it. It's not, it's not the, what system, system is that? Metric. I was like, it's not our system. What the, level? The metric God. system, King Henry died from? By. So yeah. it's like kilo, hecto, deca. Base ah, uh, and then drinking. Chocolate I don't ever milk. recall Mila learning that. Centa Desi. Understood. I don't yeah. ever remember meters learning. and things like yeah. that. What yeah. level is? Please excuse my dear aunt Sally. That's probably like second grade. Yeah, third grade. That's Your order of operations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is? Please excuse my dear aunt Sally. Oh. Parentheses. See, aunt Sally is exponents. Very gassy. <laughs> Wait, what is so, this? It's when you're learning your order of operations order of in operations. math. So it's you oh. do what's inside the parentheses first, and then the exponents, and then wow. My so you remember multiplication, the... division, and addition, subtraction. subtraction. Now, how Please do you remember that, my dear Aunt Sally? Because it's little. It's an acronym. 
It's just a mnemonic letters. device. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, but I don't ever remember even learning that. Now, granted, I'm much older than you guys, but I don't even remember. I was just having this conversation. We had a long time to talk on the trip to Chicago. And I was talking to my older kids, and my son's going to school for, like, robotics. and So I go, I don't know how you guys got these brainiac uh, brains, but I'm glad that you did, because my daughter's <laughs> the same way. But I don't have a mind for that. And I was talking about how uh, once I got to college, didn't take any more math. Like, everybody was kind of taking calc or diffie Q or something mm -hmm. like that. But it was like, I barely scraped by math. It was the only thing I wasn't in an honors track for. It was, was just math. called math. Just math. <laughs> yeah. I took algebra one. I right. took algebra two. I took trig. I took physics. I took I took whatever I had to take so that I didn't have to take any more math. Right. So and my dad is an engineer, so it was I'm sure very frustrating for him that I didn't get that. My brothers got that whole thing that gene. Mm -hmm. I never got it. Well, so for when people go, oh yeah. Parentheses exponents. I go, man. I don't know mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Please I mean, excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's they a cliche to say that I don't use it in in my life because I certainly don't. But I'm I'm uh, envious of people who remember those things even if they don't know how to apply them because I don't even remember them. I could give you the Fibonacci sequence. Uh -huh. I could tell you Avogadro's number. I could give you Planck's constant. Look at you go. But things stick. But those are even less applicable to like adult <laughs> regular life. Right. At least the stuff you guys are rattling off regular. It will work on trivia night. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I mean, I think those things really help, and they stick. Whenever you, whenever I learn something that is that because of pharmacy school though, or no? You no, just remember this was it from all, school. Like way young. Yeah, this all okay. this stuff is like stuff. elementary school, middle school. I feel like. Well, middle school, high school. That's when you learn it. But I, re I wondered if you just if it kept popping up to the point where you retained it, or you retained it from from junior high. Just from the mnemonic device. Wow. That's the kind of stuff like that sticks. And I mean, anytime I've learned anything through song, I can remember it. Like naming all the 50 states in alphabetical order. There's a song for that. Or the McDonald's menu. McDonald's menu. Remember, There's I all kinds of things. The 50 states and then the capital of, the, of all the states. From the Animaniacs? Mm -hmm. No, mm. Baton Rouge, is Louisiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Columbus is the capital of Ohio. There's oh, Montgomery, Alabama, south of Helena, Montana. You don't know that one? We had Montgomery, Montgomery, they just Alabama, made us June. learn crap. <laughs> they they you guys, they you guys they got songs. You guys and... got songs. I just they were like, here's sit down and learn it. Yes, here are the capitals. <laughs> learn them by Friday. Sacramento, California, Denver, Colorado, Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> it almost sounded like you were starting to get into. Uh, we didn't start the fire. Yeah. No, it was like, America, America, you mean the world to me. America, Tell me you America. didn't sing it like that. He did. He absolutely did. This was like a choir song, but it just happened to transfer over to geography, too. I'm sure. I think the 50 Nifty United States, everybody knows that. Yeah, one. 50 know that one. Nifty? Yeah. I don't know that. 50 Nifty United States from 13 original colonies. Must have been a generational thing. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. And you can go you go all the way through. I think my wife knows that one. I, I feel that like a one, lot of people yeah. know that one. We yeah. just, you know, Gen Xers, we were just told to learn things and mm. just learn those. Just learn it. Especially in Catholic school. They weren't like, all right, today there's a song. They were mm -hmm. just going to be like, here's the goddamn capitals. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have a test on Friday. You better know them or whatever. We'd be like, um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, here in the back. Why? And they just go, uh. Uh, any chance we could have a song? And they'd be like, we didn't request the song. Know, the state capital song was the Animaniacs. That Des wasn't Moines, even school. Iowa, Topeka, Kansas, Springfield, Kentucky, Baton Rouge, <laughs> Louisiana. That's Look at you. Wait, what? What Kentucky? What? What did you say? What's the capital of Kentucky? Louisville. No, no, it's Lexington. Lexington. Wait, wait, wait. No, it isn't. What is it? Frankfurt. Oh, Frankfort, right. Kentucky. Yeah. Frankfort, Kentucky. Wow. Yeah, I'm 100% right. positive. You're right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Suck it. Everyone. No, it's hey, okay. hey, now you learned. See, yeah. I had a, I had a knowledge, and I gave you guys Frankfort. a knowledge. Frankfort, Weird. Kentucky. Holy yeah. crap. I, that, There's a lot of them that are like change? that. Nope. Did it change? Nope. I think it changed. Uh -uh. No, it the, did not. For the longest time, I thought Seattle. Because you have what? a hot dog in Frankfort. I always have all these. I feel like Michael Scott. You have mm -hmm. all these like ridiculous ways to remember well, things. Some states, really some states changed. I like swear. Portland used to be the capital of Maine. I now it's Augusta, I think. I did not know I that like it's always been Olympia was the capital of Washington State. I always yeah. thought it was Seattle. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, it, it's pointless. They should just make Seattle the capital because Olympia's, like, it's 15 pointless. minutes away. Yeah. yeah, but I imagine that maybe why would, <laughs> they'd move the state house to Seattle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, just make Olympia a suburb of Seattle. 
kind See, of these it. are the things I know. I have useless information like this stored up in my brain. It's not useful as for trivia night. Frankfurt, man, that one blew my oh, mind. Oh, I said Springfurt, right. Kentucky. So you I said Springfurt, and I was like, what? Springfurt, Kentucky, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I was going by the song, but not by my memory. Frankfurt. Sp- he said Springfurt? He said Springfurt. <laughs> Springfurt. <laughs> I wish there was a city called Springfurt, Kentucky. There might it probably be. is. They might have a bureau chief there. You know Who knows? What Kentucky is? You kidding me? Alan, did you see the Kid Rock rant? Another one? Yeah, I did see the Kid Rock. What does this guy got against Joy Behar? <laughs> he called, out he of called all, her bitch again? Well, he goes off well, on Oprah. Okay. On Oprah, yeah. He's... Kid Rock owns a bar <laughs> in Nashville. So he gets up there in between bands or whatever. He's like, all right, so you guys. Kid Rock, this guy looks like Howard Stern from 1984. Like He's got Michigan, a gut. Man. You know, well, whatever. I mean, Kid Rock's got his, his contingent or whatever. But even the people in this audience were like, bro, what's going on? He's hammered and he's yelling about Oprah. And he's like, <laughs> I'm not racist, but Oprah sucks. You know? Who hates Oprah? And then, well, Kid Rock. Also, if you just but hate he, Oprah, keeps, just say I hate Oprah. It's just, you don't have to say I'm not racist because that just makes you sound so much more racist. And it's going to make your Monique fans mad. Yeah. That hate Oprah. I yeah. love bread. But he keeps mentioning Joy Behar. <laughs> they, he mentions Kathy Lee Gifford like it's 2000 or something. Mm-hmm. But um, how are these the people who pop in his head if he's trying to you he's know, got over own it. the libs? Mm-hmm. Got over what? The, whatever is going on in his head. I don't know. Like, there's... Maybe he, he she did something being slighted. This yeah, guy he mentioned about... being slighted by Oprah or something because... Did he write a book and she didn't <laughs> put it on her list or whatever? Maybe. It just really annoys me. You that... think Kid Rock wrote a book? I mean, he might Who's going to read that? Donald Trump wrote a book. Hey. Maybe Donald writer. Trump didn't write a book. It, oh, okay, so he could have a ghostwriter just like Trump did. I don't think it's too ridiculous to think that Kid Rock could write a book. This guy thinks about Joy Behar more than Joe Behar does. I just don't understand how, if he's on the winning team, why is he so butthurt? Like, everyone's so butthurt on that winning team that they call it. What winning team are you talking about? They they say they're on the winning team. Trump is the winning team. Oh, that ain't the winning team. They say it. Well, he's, I guess he's put a statement out. Anyway, he said, my people tried to get me to do the Oprah show years ago. And her people wanted me to write down five reasons why I loved her and her show. And I said... F that and her. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll play the clip here because he is at his bar. And... I'm not a bad guy. I'm just an honest guy that says, hey, I like Oprah Winfrey or Joy Behar. <laughs> I like Oprah Winfrey or Joy Behar. <laughs> All is right. he just drinking in this bar, or is he? He's on stage. I understand, yeah. but I'm saying, yeah. was he performing, or was he just like hanging no, out? No, I think he went out in yeah. between yeah. acts or whatever. Like, oh yeah, that's. Oh, he's racist. And if you say that, you're like, hey, pretty sure Kid Rock's a racist. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> that was his defense. Okay, I'm, fine. I'm not a racist, but if you say I'm okay, fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Was it racist when I said F Joy Behar? Again, he's drunk. It's not really going <laughs> to make him go. sense. It's not making any sense. Oh, he said he loves Kathy Lee Gifford. Well, there you go. Joy Behar. Joy, Joy Behar. People, the conservatives don't like her because she's effective. Like, she's very... Like Effective she, at what? She's on The View. Like, yeah, I don't... People, why like are people, people watch worried her. about... There are actual people out there... Who you know have some influence over how people a lot think? Of Joy people Behar watch is that not show. right, but she's not influencing how anyone thinks. Ah, uh, she is. I bet. There's housewives who sit there and watch The View every day, oh, and if yeah. Joy Behar is like, I don't really particularly like this person, A B C D. I think they're, they're like, probably you know butting what? heads with their husbands who I are like watching that. Fox News, and they go back and forth. Right. The View is already preaching yeah. to the choir. But that's what I'm saying. So they're probably like, you know what? Those are four good points. I don't need to hear any but other they, points. They have like guests of like the opposing side on that show like they just had trump jr on that show but why would kid rock be thinking about joy <laughs> behar because he's got nothing else going on i mean he just explained why he doesn't like oprah where right. does joy behar come from but why do you hate he never said why i he hate oprah. love bread maybe he asked her to come uh open for him at the bash on the bay and maybe she said he, no maybe he hates bread and joy behar loves bread I too mm-hmm. love bread Red. Uh, have you seen Joy Behar? Listen, I a roll. bet. Yeah, she doesn't strike me as somebody. Yeah, a roll. Maybe a sourdough. Oh, I love sourdough. Uh, so I'm fascinated by any time Kid Rock, when people get drunk, their brain go to different places, mm-hmm. right? You might talk about a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a situation in your life currently. 
Every time Kid Rock gets publicly drunk, he name drops Joy Behar. Maybe they hooked up once. Is that out of the realm of possibility? Mm, In yeah. the 90s, she wanted to go dumpster diving for a grungy boy from Detroit. She's been married a couple of times for a long so time. That's what I'm so. saying. She could have been a, in the bounce back. Maybe. <clears throat> One divorce wasn't final yet. Wasn't Tarzan and on to the next thing? Yeah, maybe so. Kid Rock. So your theory is that Kid Rock and Joy Behar hooked up. Mm-hmm. Of course, Mary knows the capital of Alaska. What? Juno. I will get every single capital question right. I promise you that. I'm that confident New in Hampshire. it. Louisiana. Uh, Baton Rouge. Capital of Vermont. Vermont, Montpelier. Wisconsin. No one knows Vermont. So uh-huh. we, it's Montpelier. Wisconsin. Okay, hold on. I gotta think. Now I'm like, now you guys make me nervous. Right, what is it? Right. Um, Which one is it? Madison. He said Wisconsin. Oh, it's uh, not Madison. No. It's something weird. Ma- uh, Wisconsin is. Actually, it is Madison, is isn't it? it? I yeah. thought it was something weird. Yeah, okay, Madison, well then yeah. I lied. I'm I not going to get one. every single one right. <laughs> That's okay. That's one I would have gotten. Wyoming. <sighs> Wyoming. Helen? No, the Helen is Montana. Wyoming is Cheyenne. Mm. <laughs> New Hampshire. <laughs> New Hampshire. I'm getting all the That's another Frankfurt, states. I think. Or Frank. New Hampshire. No, there are two states that have this city as a capital. Of New Hampshire? Yes. Uh, uh, Carson City. No, That's it starts with a Nevada. C. That's Nevada. It does start with a C. Uh, Concord? <clears throat> Concord, New Concord, Hampshire. Concord, New yeah. Hampshire. And what's the other state that has that? Isn't it Connecticut? No. No, it's Hartford. Hartford, Hartford. is Connecticut. Hartford. I thought there were two Concords. No, I think no. there's two Frankfurts. I don't know. Right. Either way. Oregon. Salem. That's good. <laughs> wow. South Dakota. Uh, Pierre? Oh. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This is so pointless. Utah. I mean, Utah is... Um, that one's easy. You know it. Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. All right. Rhode Island. It, Dover. Is, Dover's no. Delaware. No, that's Delaware. Dover's Delaware. This is super, super easy. I don't know. Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. I now, why, was that. That e- why do you say that was easy, Pancake? Uh, it's like the, the only city, the only city you know. Major city, yeah. major city there. Major city. <laughs> Get them out. <laughs> Get them out. <laughs> Get them out of here. <laughs> Casting demon in 2019. Illinois. Um, State of my uh, upbringing. Um, it's not Chicago. Illinois is. Well, I think I know this. I one. don't know it actually off the top of my head. Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. Springfield. That's right. I know most. <laughs> I was cocky up front saying I'll know, get a, I'll get every single one. Right. Not I Springfurt, take it back. no. Springfurt. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> Bang draw my knee. Alabama. I'm am running out of steam. I don't uh, know. You're Mon- the one that's saying you know Montgomery. all the capitals. Montgomery. Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah. You don't know my little Arizona. That one. Not Phoenix. Is it Phoenix? Yeah. Phoenix, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Did she get that one wrong because she said not Phoenix? How about I, I said, is it Phoenix with a question mark? Not Iowa. Phoenix. I didn't know Des Atlanta Moines. was the Atlanta's the capital of Georgia. I don't yes, think so. It is. I thought it was something else. It was, yeah. you're, you're thinking it's Augusta, but it's not. Augusta's That's Maine. Maine. There's yeah. two. There's Augusta, Georgia, too. Yeah, but I knew that, that wasn't Augusta, the, Georgia's the capital of white people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Atlanta's the capital of of Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, Mary Santora, boy. She's pretty sharp. In completely useless facts. Hey, listen, uh, there's no more dumb bitches around here. You hey! Know? You were the resident dumb bitch for a long time. Went away. And now I, that's not you anymore. Still me. <laughs> Little dumber boy. <laughs> Little dumber boy. Oh I'll God. tan and bottom. And I can be one eye, Fetty Wap. <laughs> All right. Let me break. Want to get the last word in? It doesn't even have to be about state capitals. Uh, you can uh, text me, 35192. We'll be back after these. The Alan Cox Show. 